What is up guys, Mark Pretorius here, and today we're gonna to look at why your Mac is not connecting your external microphone. Welcome back to the channel guys, the channel where we check out everything media related. So if that's what you're into, definitely go down there and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, I'll wait. Come on. Yes, I'm holding the rest of the video ransom. So the reason we're doing this video today is because I've been struggling with this the last couple of days, trying to figure it out because I want to do a wireless live show for you guys while doing photography. But alas, Mac was being a bastard and it was not working for me. I could not get that wireless lavier setup to work. So what did I do? So I scoured the whole internet trying to figure out why this isn't working and how can I fix it. And to my dismay, came up with nothing. Now the videos that I did find weren't really explanatory because it didn't really actually tell me anything about why it's not working. So even though I had the tools that they were providing me with and they were fixing it, I still wasn't. So I dived in a little bit deeper and I found a solution. So today I'm gonna be sharing that solution with you guys without trying to make this overly technical, trying to talk about the RTTP and all that other things about audio kind of connections. Um, I find it completely useless and completely irrelevant to the average person. If you knew these things, you'd be able to fix it yourself and you won't look like an idiot like me. So with that all said and done, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this, how to fix this and why it isn't working using math. Now without calling these aux cables by their true name, we're going to be, be using the amount of rings that they have on. So to illustrate my point, we're going to jump to my screen where I'm going to show you guys the whole sound setup. Now, as you guys can see, I've got a lot of audio connections, but at the top, you guys can see internal microphone built in. Now, when I plug in a cable, it's supposed to change into external microphone, but I will and it won't. Now, I've connected my headset. My headset does come with a microphone, and as you guys can see, it still says internal microphone. That is supposed to change to external microphone. Now, why is it not doing that? Simply put, it's not doing that because there's only two rings on this aux jack. Now, if I switch out the cable to one with three sleeves on it, it will work. Now, as you guys can see, same headset, just change the cable out and suddenly there's an external microphone. But you might be thinking, okay, fine, all I'll do is get a splitter. That's what I did, it didn't work. Unfortunately, it will not. The thing is, Mac doesn't read the splitters as a input jack. What it does is it waits for you to put in your headphones and your microphone before it calculates how many sleeves there are. So the problem is most microphones don't come with a single sleeve jack or a single ring jack. So the problem is when you plug in your headphones, it has two rings on it. And then you plug in your microphone, it also has two rings on it. And then it reads as four. And that will not work. Mac will just say, oh, no microphone detected. So now you're probably thinking there, how do I solve this problem? So the way I solved it was buying a USB to audio interface. So I bought a little USB dongle that has a splitter at the top that you can plug in a microphone and a headset on. And that solved my issue because the Mac immediately picked it up as a separate audio device. Now the USB system does come with its issues, namely latency. So the problem is when you do that, it kind of makes your voice not line up with the mouth movement. So the words you're saying is just not lining up with your mouth movements. But that's easily fixable. Most of us that actually watch these videos are probably trying to figure out how to incorporate into streaming. And if you're not, you can still kind of fix it in every other way. So in your Streamlabs OBS, if you're using Streamlabs or any type of streaming software that you use, there is an ability within the sound settings that you can actually set it up for latency. So all you need to do is actually just record yourself and then go through a software like Premiere Pro and you see how many frames your voice is off. And then all you do is you just type that amount of frames inside of Streamlabs and OBS on the latency settings and you'll immediately have it solved. So guys, I hope this helps you as much as it helped me because it was a big pain in my ass and I hated going through all the time and effort that I put in trying to figure out why it wasn't working and not understanding why. I hope this at least helps you guys. If it did, please leave a comment down below and tell me um, if it helped you. Also, if you have a different solution to this problem, I would love to hear it. I would like to remind you guys, if this video helped you, please leave a like down below. It definitely helps the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. 
definitely check it out because we do a lot of media related stuff, a lot of photography, a lot of videography and just try and make it general fun. But with that all said and done guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.